Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Business Hub. Sheldon Adelson is the founder of the Las Vegas Sands Corporation. He's an American who has made billions in the hospitality and recreation industry and has risen to the status of business magnet. He's in his 80s and he's led an interesting life on his journey, which is still ongoing. If you're not familiar with Adelson, you're in the right place to learn about some significant achievements and contributions that he's made. Today, we're going to be talking about 10 different things you didn't know about Sheldon Adelson. Now, without any further ado, let's get straight into it. Number one, he was born to a poor family. Sheldon G. Adelson was born in 1933. His family was low income and lived in the Dorchester area of Boston, Massachusetts. Both of his parents worked to support their family. His father drove a taxi cab for a living and his mother operated a knitting shop. He was born with financial privilege, but he did grow up with an understanding of what it was like to grow up without a lot of money. Number two, he is the son of immigrants. Adelson comes from parents who immigrated to the United States from other countries. On his father's side, his grandfather was a coal miner in Wales and his paternal ancestry is Ukrainian Jewish and Lithuanian Jewish. His mother came to America from England. His family was part of the wave of immigrants who flooded into the country during that period of time, all seeking a new land and opportunity to make a better life for themselves and their families. Number three, he was the 15th richest man in the world. Forbes listed Sheldon G. Adelson in their list of the richest people in the world. He made it to the slot of number 15 on the list with a fortune that is estimated at $33.3 billion. He's earned his fortune through hard work and some very wise investments throughout his business career. Number four, he owns a lot of real estate in Las Vegas. Mr. Adelson is the man who founded the popular Las Vegas Sands, which is the property of the Las Vegas Sands Corporation. The large company also owns the Venetian Macau Limited, operating the Venetian Resort Hotel Casino, as well as the Sands Expo and Convention Center. The corporation is also the parent company of the Marina Bay Sands in Singapore. His empire stretches from the United States through to Asia. Number five, Mr. Adelson owns American and Israeli newspaper companies. The business magnet is also the owner of the Las Vegas Review Journal, which is the daily newspaper in America. In addition to this, it was previously reported that he owns the Israel Hayom, which is a daily newspaper in Israel. Later, news was shared that it's not Adelson that actually owns the Israeli newspaper, but rather a relative of his. He tried to purchase the Marv newspaper in Israel, but it failed. But he kept trying until he received the go-ahead to make the purchase of Marv as well as Makor Rishon. Number six, his wife influenced his philanthropy. Adelson's wife, Miriam, is a philanthropist at heart, and due to her diligence, Mr. Adelson established the Adelson Foundation in 2007. The foundation is used to make donations to several causes and non-profit organizations. The foundation has made contributions of $140 million to Bright Ra Israel. This organization finances trips to Israel for youth. He and his wife also established the Dr. Miriam and Sheldon G. Adelson Medical Research Foundation and donated $7.5 million for a research collaborative of 10 universities. They value education, the furtherance of medical research, and helping youth to realize their Jewish heritage. Number seven, he began his career in business when he was 12. Sheldon Gary Adelson got an early start on his business career. He was a tenacious youth who believed in himself and he was willing to take risks to achieve his goals. Even before he reached his teenage years, he borrowed $200 at the age of 12 from an uncle and he bought a license that allowed him to sell newspapers in the Boston area. By the time he was 16, he borrowed a large sum of $10,000 from an uncle so he could open a candy vending machine business. The youth was an entrepreneur prior to the onset of puberty. Number eight, he's had his share of failures. Sheldon Adelson has a positive attitude and although he's one of the richest men in the world today, he's had his share of setbacks. He attempted to go to college and trade school, but he failed at both. He also made an attempt to become a court reporter, but this wasn't a success either, so he bagged all of that and enlisted in the army. Number nine, the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee put him on blast. In August of 2012, the DCCC accused Mr. Adelson of making donations of Chinese prostitution money to the Republican Party. There were two separate blog posts that suggested he approved prostitution activities at his Macau resorts and that this is where the money used to make the donations had come from. Mr. Adelson responded with a libel suit against them, and shortly after the suit was filed, the DCCC made an apology and they withdrew those blog posts. Number 10. He sold toiletry kits after the army. The magnet was discharged from the army and had to find a way to make a living. Being a tenacious entrepreneur at the core of his being, he founded a new business that involved selling toiletry kits. After that, he sold a chemical spray used to take the ice off windshields of vehicles called de it After that, he established a charter to 
into a business which was the beginning of his attainment of wealth. It wasn't long before he was a millionaire. He's credited for the creation of nearly 50 of his own businesses, some of which were successful and some of them not. Anyways guys, this brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, please do check out one of the two videos you'll see on screen right now. I'm sure you'll love one. Anyways guys, with that being said, I'll see you in our next video.